Great, so you know all about Redux now and you know how to use it, but here are some tips and tricks I learned over the years to make your life a lot easier. One, never use Redux sagas. It never works out in the long run. Devious thing that sounds like a good idea where it's called reactive programming, but I have never in my life seen reactive programming work out in the long run. It didn't work with Backbone. It doesn't work with sagas. Everyone who has a sagas code base comes to me crying a year later and saying, I don't understand how any of this works and I have no idea what's triggering anything in my code base. Two, do use a lot of selectors. Selectors are helper functions that make it easier to access data in your store. So instead of state dot blah dot blah dot blah, you call a function that does that internally. It's easier for you to understand your code base and most importantly, it makes it easier for you to share selections across your entire app so you can have fewer things connected to the store and it still works really great. I just realized we already used selectors in this application. So let me just show you exactly where the selectors are. We have map state to props in index.js for our Redux app. And these methods, these are called selectors. If you go into the selectors library, a rather complicated function to get the current video URL by combining two parts of our state into a common thing that needs to work together. We aren't really using the reselect library, even though we probably should. It allows you to combine different selectors together. Three, explore middlewares. Middlewares are powerful libraries that give Redux special powers by injecting themselves between your actions reducers and the Redux store at special features like integration with dev tools, uh, logging, tanks are a middleware, sagas also are a middleware. I don't know all the middlewares that exist, but explore them, learn them, they're gonna give you special powers and make your life a lot easier. You can also make your own. And four, most importantly, don't get carried away with Redux. You don't have to put everything in your Redux store. You don't have to make sure everything has a separate action, a separate reducer and a separate selector or whatever else. It's okay to write some code that is quote unquote messy if it's easier to understand than the indirection of going through the entire Redux machinery.